And artificial intelligence is growing too, and it feels like you can find AI in just about everything. And that new technology is becoming a growing workforce in our region too. That workforce in St. Louis is catalyzed uh, by one that's expanding in North City. The new NGA off of Cass and Jefferson is helping to facilitate a growing industry in our region. New here at five, Nathan Vickers is hearing from companies in this growing space that are using ways to recruit workers to a workforce they say could change the area. There's a human side to artificial intelligence. We provide high quality AI training data to U.S. government customers. AJ Siegel and his team at Scale AI bring that human touch to the geospatial industry. A workforce the San Francisco based company is building along Washington Avenue in downtown St. Louis. The people who we have working here uh, on the geospatial side are from all different walks of life. Most of them don't have a tech background. Take Monica Vasquez, for example. Previous to this, I actually worked at um, Margaritaville. I was a stilt walker. Now she's a team lead on a project helping AI models differentiate between real world objects. In the process, you teach AI um, what an object is. A skill for the next generation of tech jobs. Definitely had no background experience before, but along the way, like, a lot of mentors and people have taught me a lot of things that I would have never imagined. This is a perfect example of how AI creates jobs and creates opportunities that didn't previously exist. In addition to the new NGA site, there are now more than 350 private companies in the region in the geospatial industry. And with that growth comes new demand for developing that workforce. The key issue is, is training people with deep expertise. Wasit Sagan is a St. Louis University professor and part of the Taylor Geospatial Institute, a research center at the core of high-tech mapping and data collection, another key to strengthening the region as an international hub for an emerging industry. When we talk about GPS position navigation timing and number of those applications, right, uh, that requires really a more uh, a higher level training, more advanced, deep scientific expertise. It's a story that shows how the human element You've created jobs that didn't exist just a few years ago will help shape the future of tech. There is a human that is absolutely necessary to be able to tell the difference and make sure that the highest quality data leaves this center and goes to our government customers. In St. Louis, Nathan Vickers, First Alert 4.